Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software, and on today's video, Docket Prep Plugin, I'm going to show you a new plugin in Eclipse 11. Since this new feature is a plugin, it does need to be enabled if you want to use it. So first, I'm going to start by opening Eclipse. Once I'm in Eclipse, I'll go to Support, Plugins, Manage Plugins. In this list, I can select Docket Dictionary Preparation. You see that it'll add a Tools, Real-Time, Docket Prep button. And I can use the Configure button in this window to change different options within the plugin. But first, we need to press Enable and then OK to turn the plugin on. And then we'll restart Eclipse. Once I'm back in Eclipse, I can return to Support, Plugins, Manage Plugins. I can select Docket Dictionary Preparation, and this time I can choose Configure. In the Configure window, I have the option to customize the way that the dictionary will be prepared. I can customize the Defendant Steno, the Case Steno, the Case Prefix, my Number Steno, as well as the dictionary name itself. If I choose Defendant Steno and press OK, it shows me what the current Steno used for Defendant is. If you want to change this, you can modify it to any Steno that you use instead. I can click Case Steno in OK to adjust what my Case Steno or Case Name Steno is going to be. And then Case Prefix, this is where I can tell it what I want the case to be called. I'm going to go ahead and update this for my own purposes. Next, I can choose Number Steno. And this is where you can tell Eclipse how you write out numbers. And so here you want your steno for each of your numbers separated by commas. I'll press OK. Next, I can modify the dictionary name by simply typing in a new dictionary name. I'll choose Done. I can go to Tools, Real Time, Docket Prep. And here, all you have to do is enter each defendant name and press Enter. I'll type the name, press Enter. Enter. and enter. And you see that Eclipse has provided me automatic briefs for all of my defendants using the steno I provided it. So defendant one, defendant two, defendant three, defendant four. Additionally, it's automatically created state of Florida versus each defendant. And again, it uses the steno that I specified for both the case name, defendant, and each of the numbers. And you can customize all of that by going to Support, Plugins, Manage Plugins, select Docket Dictionary Preparation, and Configure. Simply click on whichever option you want to change and modify the steno. Once you've done that, when you use the Docket Prep again in the future, the new steno that you specified is what's going to be used instead. And now that I've created my docket.dix, I can use it in translation. I can go to Alt-T, Dictionaries. In the Alt-T window, I can press Dictionaries, Add, and I can select Docket Dictionary. And this one will automatically now be added to my list for the job, and I'm ready to use it. Don't forget that Advantage Software offers anytime support. Tech support can be reached with any question, anytime, including weekends and holidays, at 772-288-3266. Email support is also available at support at eclipsecat.com. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when we publish new content in the future. Thank you so much and have a great day.